Evaluate the integral of 2 to the x minus 2 to the negative x divided by 2 to the x plus 2 to the negative x dx. So let's start by prepping this function first. Notice that it has denominators, so we can express this as a product by bringing the bottom term uh, in parentheses to a minus 1 power and multiplying it by the numerator. The next thing to notice is that there's a bunch of x's in all these exponents. And so we can write this in terms of the natural exponential as e to the ln of a base times a variable each time. So we're going to have e to the ln 2 times x for the first term and e to the ln of 2 times negative x for the second term. And then we're going to repeat this for both the part in the minus 1 parentheses and the part without the minus 1. And so once we're prepped, we're left with this horrific expression the integral of e to the ln 2 times x plus e to the ln of 2 times negative x quantity to the minus 1 times e to the ln of 2 times x minus e to the ln of 2 times negative x all times dx. Now this is kind of a horrific looking integral right here but notice that it's a product so the two options are to expand or to substitute. Can we expand it out? Well that's the clincher. That negative 1 means we can neither foil nor distribute so we need to let uh, a substitution work. Notice that there's two things in expressions, or in parentheses, but the expression in the minus 1 has been our best bet before. And so we're going to try it again. We'll let u be e to the ln of 2 times x plus e to the ln of 2 times negative x. Now let's differentiate this. Uh, this is just the chain rule each time. You have e to the blank times the derivative of blank for each of the two terms. And then we'll just fill in the two blanks. In the first case, the blank is ln of 2 times x. Notice that ln of 2 is a constant. So it comes along for the right, and the derivative of x is 1. The same thing here, ln of 2 times negative x, ln of 2 comes along for the right, and the derivative of negative x is just minus 1. So let's clean this up. Notice that there's an ln 2 in both terms, so we'll factor it out. And the derivative becomes ln of 2 times the quantity e to the ln of 2 times x minus e to the ln of 2 times negative x. Now at this point, we can multiply both sides by dx. Oops, let me do that first. Multiply both sides by dx, and then divide both sides by ln of 2. And we have 1 over ln of 2 du, oh, I forgot the du, I'll get there in a second, times e to the ln of 2 times x minus e to the ln of 2 to the minus x dx. And so this is the differential we need to fit. Ugh. The good news, this differential right here matches this part perfectly, so at least it's going to work. Alrighty, so let's replace all of this nonsense here by just 1 over ln of 2 uh, du. There's the du, I forgot. The other expression can just be replaced by a u, so you have u to the minus 1, and this entire thing just becomes this integral. The integral of 1 over ln of 2 times u to the minus 1 du. Take a moment to pause at that for a second. Look at how horrible it was at the beginning, how we made it worse with our, our uh, prep work, but we've managed to clean it up like this. Now we can finish with the integration. The 1 over ln of 2 is a constant, comes along for the ride. The antiderivative of u to the minus 1 is natural logarithm of absolute value of u, and now we can back substitute. 1 over the ln of 2 times the natural logarithm of the absolute value of u which was the expression e to the ln of 2 times x plus e to the ln of 2 times negative x. Whew, there's one antiderivative and here's all of them. But remember, we can also simplify this expression in the middle as 2 to the x and 2 to the negative x. And that at least cleans up the antiderivative. So we get this formula right here. The antiderivative is 1 over ln of 2 times the natural logarithm of 2 to the x plus 2 to the negative x, all times a constant. Whew, that was a mess.